on to this season. We're a week away. West Virginia plays Saturday. Let's take a look at our West Virginia roster for this season. Let's is it better? It. Is it worse? I think the first thing we should look at is what we've lost and what we've gained. So first, uh, some big losses. The biggest one being Tyke Smith going to Georgia from the transfer portal. That's Man, a big one. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you try to spin it. That hurts. That's that's a big one. That hurts. And that's that's a big position when mm-hmm. you're playing in the Big 12. That's a guy that played everywhere. By He was the best player. Would have been the best player. A key player on one of the best defenses in the Big 12. Yeah. As much as West Virginia struggled, their defense number-wise, right at the top. And you lose that key piece. Another big piece, uh, Drashawn Miller went to Auburn. That one was kind of, uh, from what Neil Brown said, Tyke Smith, Smith, he expected. I guess, there, I don't know if there was beef there, <laughs> uh, if there was talk. But he said the Miller one came as a shock to him, and he didn't expect it. Yeah. And that's another big loss. Well, DB's a, it's a tough position. You got to have these guys play. Mm-hmm. But new guys can step up. We got good recruiting classes. We have a yeah. good recruiting class that is playing this year. We have some good ones coming up. Mm-hmm. Hope we can fill these guys, fill these guys up. Fill them up. Speaking of filling up, some big gains we got from the transfer portal. Uh, Doug Nestor, we talked about him earlier a couple episodes ago. Actually, way ago. He transferred early. Um, so that's a big one for the O line. He was, uh, I think, four star recruit out of high school. Um, Went to Virginia right. Tech. He had some interesting comments. He said before he actually wanted – I think he's from West Virginia. Yep, he is. And uh, he wanted to go there. But I guess he said when he went there before with the previous coaching staff, uh, he didn't get very much communication from Holgerson or anything. And he said the Neil Brown staff was black and white. He said a lot of communication, a lot of, you know, basically wanting him to come there. <laughs> so – Interesting. I guess you can't recruit if you don't try, Holgerson, you know, whatever. Yeah. Another big uh, ad, Lance Dixon came over from Penn State and Charles Woods from Illinois State. So those are all guys that are pretty big and could help out. Definitely. I think Lance Dixon has a lot of potential. We'll Mm -hmm. see him for the next few years. From Um, what I've seen, he's currently, I think, two on the depth chart but yeah he's he'll be there for a few years and yeah i think he was a four star out of high school too so that's a big ad he'll be good he'll play you'll see him you'll know that name by the end of his uh his career here harry called it remember that you'll know his name i feel it harry's rarely wrong guys i'm gonna say that (laughs) except when he is except when he is (laughs) Uh, but that brings us to our roster this year. Are we better or are we worse? The key part Overall? of the roster, Jared Dagey. Huh? All the talk has been how he's improved, how he looks different. He's got a beard, the beard now. Uh, well, I definitely feel he improved from last year, but the question is more, is it going to be enough to make a difference? The coaching staff is amazed. But, of course, what are they going to say? Are they going to come out and say he looks the same? (laughs) He's not ready. That's a lot of smoke before the season. It is. They're building him up. Um, But everyone says he's made a a lot of strides and he looks good. We're about to find out quickly because you got Maryland, you got Virginia Tech, and you got Oklahoma. So. Break him in. We'll find out. They'll find out very quickly. Uh, Behind him, Garrett Green. Freshman, a lot of talk about him. Do we see him this year? I don't think so. Maybe you see him some in that week two game if we blow him out early. He gets some barring injury. Week two, you might see him in the second half. Yep. Uh, Uh, Letty Brown. This season is going to live and die with Letty Brown. So, Daggy and Brown are really the keys if we're going to have a good season. Of course, Letty Brown's going to get a thousand carries. (laughs) I agree. I think Brown's the key for the whole offense. You need him to help with Daigie, mm-hmm. get the pressure off. You need to have a running threat to bring people in the box, open up some stuff out wide. Um, he's going to be big, definitely. And he's uh, he's one of the better, better backs in the league for sure. Yeah. He's played well. Hopefully he stays healthy. Um, 
I like him. I think he's going to have a big season. And he's done good so far with the heavy workload. He's had a heavy, heavy load. <laughs> I mean, yeah. basically the offense these past couple of years have ran through him. And he's done a good job with it. Uh, not a lot of depth at running back. I mean, we got some good names. Just talk about some of these freshmen. Uh, Sparrow, I've heard a lot of talk about him. I don't I don't know if it's going to make a difference. It's pretty much Letty Brown's year to run everything. Uh, wide receiver. Man, we need some help. In addition to Deggy, I've heard so much this season about how Wheaton stepped up. Uh, Winston Wright Jr. stepped up. But can they not drop the ball? Yeah, I think uh, I like Sam James. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to have a good year. And, you know, to take some – yeah, Sam James, I've heard a lot about him. But to take some pressure and some of the guilt off Daggy, he hasn't been spectacular. But let's be honest, looking at a lot of those drives last year that could have been converted on third down, but were dropped. (laughs) Wide open passes were dropped on third down. And that killed a lot of drives last year. Yeah. That I think it was the was it the Baylor game that was like a three point game we lost, if I'm remembering correctly. A lot of third round drives, wide open, were dropped by Wheaton. Yeah, it wasn't a strong point for us last year, but hopefully mm-hmm. this year they can pick up a lot of a lot of younger younger guys, um, make a name for themselves. Yeah, a few yeah. freshmen. Uh, Sam Brown, I've heard a lot about him. I don't know if he's going to get a lot of time. Um, Heard a lot of talk, man. I mean, the coaches, of course, Reese Smith, of course, they got to build these guys up. You're not going to go into the season saying you don't like what you got. <laughs> so, right. but we said Letty Brown is going to run the offense, but what a huge difference it makes if our wide receivers can catch some balls this year. I mean, Bryce Ford Wheaton, Winston Wright Jr., these are the two guys. You got to catch some footballs this year. <laughs> like, They'll fix it. I, I have confidence in them. They're going to improve. I would hope. I think they are. I think they are. It's been a tough transitional period with the coaching staff, but I think they'll have a big year. Uh, our tight ends. I don't know. West Virginia doesn't run a lot through their tight ends. Um, I don't know. Is that going to be helps? Uh, he'll be good. Yeah. He played last year. He was good. Other than that, you got a lot of freshmen. Mm-hmm. And then you got TJ Banks. That's a position from what I've heard and what I've seen is going to improve a lot in the next coming years with recruiting. Yeah. So it's kind of weak right now. So for this season, West Virginia doesn't really go heavy that way. So we'll see. Um, our offensive line, again, Doug Nestor is the huge ad there. Let's see if he can make a difference. Um, they weren't horrible last year. I feel like Deggy had some good time. It's not like he was rushed all the time. Uh, wide receivers killed us. I'm just going to leave it to that. That was the huge knock last year. Uh, I think Zach Frazier, he's moving to center this year. He's going to, yeah. I think he's going to be an All American before his time is done. He was the first true freshman to start for West Virginia. Mm-hmm. He's going to be good. I think he's going to improve on that this Isn't year. Isn't he from Fairmont? He is from Fairmont. Represent. But maybe I'm a little biased, but he's he's really good. No, I've heard good things about him too. I mean, it's just hard with college. You never know if it's the coaches building these guys up. Uh, but yeah, scouting cool. report on him is good. He played all right last year, and uh, he's going to mm-hmm. be. I think he's going to improve this year, and he's going to be even better. Yeah, we'll see how he does. Look out center. for him, Nestor. So I mean, defense. We know they're good. Again, we lost Tyke Smith, which is huge. We lost Miller, which is huge. But I think our defense is – I mean, we lost Stills, which is huge. <laughs> we still got his brother. Uh, so with those losses, is our defense still top in the Big 12? Do they have enough to step up and keep it at that level? Um, no. I don't think they'll be the top defense. But I still think they'll be an all right defense. Um, Dante Stills. Mm-hmm. He kind of slowed down a little bit his junior year. Sophomore year, he was good. I think the senior year, he has potential to be a, a Big 12 player of the year. And without his brother, it's his time to shine. Yeah, he's good. He's really good. Uh, he just had an off year last year, I think. Yeah. But this year, you know, it's his senior year. He's got to, uh, before he goes to the NFL, he's going to go to the NFL. 
So it's kind of interesting looking at this team. So you're you're looking and you're saying, okay, last year we had the best defense in the Big 12. Numbers-wise, a lot of people think we had the best defense. One of the best defenses in the whole college football. You look and you say, okay, the offense is better. We had the defense last year. We should be better. But you can't ignore losing Tyke Smith, uh, losing Stills, losing Miller. I like to say the defense is going to be there. So it's kind of balanced itself out, which I hope it hasn't because that means we're the same as last year. We lost some defense. We gained some offense. <laughs> uh, so hopefully our defense can step up and at least play at the level of last year. You'd like to see. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be interesting. So are they better than last year, Harry? Final? The defense? Are we talking about overall? The whole team. Are we better than last year? The whole team. The whole team. Man. That's close, but I'm going to say yes. Okay. I'm going to say yes, too, because I'm buying into the hype. (laughs) I'm buying into what the coaches are selling me. The defense takes a step back, but they were one of the best defenses in the country last year. Yeah. Um, But I think the offense will be much better this year, and the defense will be good enough. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Are they better? Is the defense on the level? Does the offense step up? 